It was at about 6:30 in the evening when we came to Verona. We were in a hurry to visit Joliet's home. Here are some photos we captured on the way. You can see how the Verona was decorated for the last Valentine. We were lucky to enter Juliet's home as the last set for that day. When we entered the compound, we saw her statue which was made of brass. People believe in touching her right breast as a stroke of luck. Yeah, we were lucky too. And behind the statue, you can see colorful papers on the wall. Those are pasted by lovers from all over the world. I wrote my love on the ticket and pasted here. Here we come to the best part, entering to Juliet's home. As you know, I am a budget traveler, so I thought there would be a chance and search the website for information. Yes, there's a Valentine offer. The ticket is six euros, and if it is a couple, both can share one ticket. I saw two Indian girls. I went to them and I told about the offer, but they have already visited the house. Oh God, it's lost. Oh yes, I got something on my mind. Where to go? I grabbed my friend Lahiru's hand and went to the ticket counter and asked for a ticket for a couple. The cashier looked at us and issued a ticket. I think it was the very first time a gay couple from Sri Lanka visit Juliet's home. That was just to save six euros. Here you can see the balcony. As in the stories, Juliet went from here to meet Romeo. This is on the first floor. I don't know how the man climbed here. This is Juliet's bed. But it's mentioned that this design was created in near fast for a movie. According to the story, Juliet is about 13 years and Romeo is about 18 years. Here you see their clothes. Whether this is a true or false, every people love this story. Even today they send emails to Romeo and Juliet. Shakespeare wrote the romance of Romeo and Juliet in between 1594 to 1596 based on a story by an english writer named arthur brook who wrote that according to an italian poem that was translated into french it is mentioned that this is based on a true story however both romeo and juliet sacrificed their lives for their love here is summary of the romeo juliet romance i got this from the internet You can see these on the way back to Verona town. This is a place like Colosseum in Rome. Name is Arena di Verona. As I remember my friend planned to set colorful bulbs in the next visit. This is the shop near Juliet's home. They saw names. One name for free of charge and 5 euros for the partner's name. We came from Verona at about 10 and I need to remember brother Sham. He gave us lunch. We both spent just 50 euros for the whole trip, but uh, our brother had spent more than 100 euros on us for our lunch. Here we are on the Alps, on the border that separates Northern Italy and France. It's about 3,000 meters from the sea level. There are no words to express the experience we got there. So I'm going to share that experience with you. I invite you to watch my video of Towards the Alps. I really appreciate if you subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell because then you are not going to miss my story. See you soon.